Tanche et bienvenue. Merci for welcoming us into your homes as we would typically do with all of you here at Voyager Park. We are streaming from Treaty 1 territory near the mighty Red River, the homeland of the Métis Nation and the land of the Cree, Oji Cree, Ojibwe, Dene, and Dakota peoples. Through hiring Indigenous artists, creating partnerships, and educating ourselves as well as our audiences, we continue to build meaningful kinship ties between communities and help build each other up, as you will see throughout the week and beyond. Please join us in celebrating Francophone and Indigenous cultures in true Festival du Voyageur fashion. And now, warm up your tortillas, pour yourself a glass of caribou, put on your good jigging moccasins, tighten your sash, and donnez-nous un grand hey -ho! Tanche, bonjour. Hi everyone, my name is Laura Brand and I'm the Marketing and Communications Coordinator here at Festival du Voyageur. Today is Louis Riel Day and we are celebrating that day with all of the amazing Indigenous talent. We've got puppet shows, powwow music, contemporary jigging and a lot more, so I hope you enjoy the show. Bonjour et bienvenue au Festival du Voyageur virtuel. Aujourd'hui, c'est le 15 février et c'est la journée Louis Riel. Alors, nous sommes ici dans le fort pour célébrer et on espère que tout le monde est à la maison, en sécurité, chez eux, et célèbre cette magnifique journée. Je m'appelle André Naturen et de la part de l'Union nationale Métis Saint-Joseph du Manitoba, joyeuse journée Louis Riel à tout le monde. Vive Louis Riel! Welcome to the Festival of Voyage! Mon ami! So anyways, welcome to the Festival of Voyage. I'm coming to you live from the forest. Look at that beautiful, beautiful forest. Look at that, that's northern Manitoba. Long time ago, that's how they used snow shoes, come out here into the bushes, and they got furs. And that's how the Festival of Voyage there, and they traded furs with the indigenous people. And look at that, they gave me this hat and they said, Bozo, and I said, I'm not a Bozo, don't call me Bozo, and I said, no, Bozo means hello, oh, and I said, thanks, so anyways, I go, I gotta go this way, wait, which way is Thompson, this way, Alouetta, Jackie, Alouetta, Alouetta, Jackie, Alouetta. That's it, my name's uh, Trapper, I come all the way from Pagadog in Manitoba, I see a bird. I come and check out my trap line. Here's what I trap. And I'm heading down south. Maybe down south to Winnipeg. I don't know. Maybe I'll go snowshoe. I snowshoe all the way from the North Pole. Coming south through Lynn Lake. That's a Lynn Lake. I hope all is well, Pagadogan. All the other communities across Canada and in Manitoba. I'm going to go check out uh, Lake Winnipeg. Take my snowshoes. I just made them this year. I got, I'm happy to say happy uh, Festival du Voyageur. I'll be there soon. Hopefully in a few days or overnight I can run. And uh, here's my trap line. That's my cabin. I just fixed that uh, about uh, 20 years ago, 25 years ago. I remember this one song uh, my granny used to tell me. When, uh, when the wolves howl, you know why they howl? They say, Ah, that's how they used to pray for food. So back in the day too, I pray and I put down tobacco and I say my prayers. And this is to you, all of you in Vestibule to Voyager. I say hello, Buzo. Aga, kawap mitna. Okay, I hear a moose. Okay, echo Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Mikey Harris. This is my little brother, Jacob Harris, and my little sister, Sienna Harris. We are the Ivan Flat Memorial Dancers. We're three siblings from here in Winnipeg. Um, we're going to start off right away. We're going to do the Red River Jig for you with some Big John McNeil. Here it is. Thank you. 
We've been coming to Festival for many, many years. Uh, we've entered the jigging competition right here on this stage. Um, I won a few times. Jacob won a few times. Sienna won a time or two. And we're really excited to be back performing for you guys. So hope you guys enjoy the show. Here we are with some steps. Let's get it. All right, guys, up next, we've got the Orange Blossom Special. This is our favorite one because it picks up speed, and uh, we're really excited to do it for you. So hope you guys enjoy. Thank you to everyone for coming to watch. Thank you for having us. We're really excited to be here, and take care and enjoy the show. Take care, everyone.
Ouais, ça qui a le ouais. Hey, thank you, mon ami. So welcome to the festival of Voyager. Holy smokes, I can't see nothing. Hold on, wait. So anyway, it's a long time ago that snow loose. You came to the bushes, look for first, hold on. And then they look for first. So that's what they did a long time ago. And they come through the forest like this. Look at that beautiful forest. Not like today, you're driving to the Fort Gary and go check out the Festival of Voyage. There it is like this long time ago, look. See, nice and quiet. No city noise, no honking horns, just nice and quiet. Okay, enjoy your day. Come out into the forest. Hey, go say, mon ami. I'll see you later. I gotta go check my snares. That's it. My name is Lisa Miswagen, and I am a member of the Pemichigamac Cree Nation, also known as Cross Lake, which is located in northern Manitoba. I've been a hand drum singer for a number of years and released an album titled Buffalo and Rabbits. I am a contemporary hand drum singer that uses my drum and instruments, and I sing music to carry on the teachings. Uh, my late grandfather was Myrtle Scribe and I would like to carry on his legacy of storytelling and sharing our culture. The first song I'm gonna sing for you is titled A Visit with Mikisu. Mikisu means eagle in our Cree language.
Sue. You'll find the album Buffalo and Rabbits on iTunes, Spotify, and all digital outlets. Now the whole goal of Buffalo and Rabbits was for Wafu, Sue's rabbit, to seek the story of the round dance. Like I said, Wafu means, um, well, in our Cree language, Wafu means rabbit. And so she's on this journey to seek the story of the round dance to bring back home to northern Manitoba. And so she finally reaches her journey. And so she meets up with her relative, Gi Sun, who is Buffalo. And he teaches her how to round dance. And so here's Buffalo and Rabbit dancing at the round dance. share to you with you is a new song that we actually made during I actually made during the um I'll start again. So the last song that I want to share or the next song that I want to share with you is a song that um I'll be releasing this year. So it's gonna be very new and I'm really excited to perform and share it here with you. Now, it's in my Cree language, and the words mean to celebrate life. Now, for those of you who have been wondering how, um, what it is that I'm doing, well, drumming and singing kind of represent, well, it represents a mother singing to her baby in the womb, right? While the baby is in mom's tummy, and she's pregnant, and when the baby, um, is flowing around the water, then here's the mom's feet. And so it also represents Mother Earth. And so does the drum. So these were very important teachings that were um, brought on to us and told to us. And so these are some of the things that I want to share with you, some knowledge of um, the meaning of our instruments that we use. Um, so I want to do this one song and then I, I want to bring on my husband and share a song with you all.
Now I'd like to bring on my husband and we'll share a last song with you. <laughs> That's it. My name is Helen Back. Thank you for having me, my beautiful wife. I'd also like to dedicate this set to my husband because he is um, suffering stage five kidney failure. So in honor of kidney awareness, we'd like to dedicate this set to I guess everyone dealing with kidney disease. And it's a very important um, topic that needs to be discussed because it's um, high amongst indigenous populations. So it's very important to know your health status and to eat healthy. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. <clears throat> yeah. My native people, my DNA people, treated second strings to the people in charge of the steeple, religious statutes regurgitated among every reservation to avoid the fact we struggled to be deemed lower class and segregated. Tribes destroyed and separated, women and children forcibly fornicated. Harper issued an apology on behalf of the white people to whom which he is related. I bet they feeling vindicated like saying sorry will wash it all away. Like every sin that was committed against my ancestors could be blamed on the priest having a bad day. Blame it on the era. I don't buy that one bit. Cause the things that I'm speaking on happen still present day life. Story still swept under the rug that colonialism has provided. You've died at alarming rates and will never know the joys of buying a car and racking up the mileage. Yeah, Your story stopped before yeah, they can understand growing up's true meaning. For the ones who will never experience the reality of true feelings. Physical or tribal members who watch other tribal members dying, protecting their family from the hate and all the lies. From the elders' pain, we will never fully understand until we see it through their eyes. This is for the brothers and sisters who stood up this high on the front line and were greeted with mace and rubber bullets in the place of handshakes and highs. What the cannons and winter to try, put our cold voices on some cold ice. I'm never afraid to walk alone. Cause every step is a path that my family can follow. Cause if I don't go first, how can they gaze if the puddle is deep or if it's shallow? The better tomorrow is buried underneath the hard work, blood, sweat, and the other. And sometimes you have to separate yourself from the pack. Like head down, focused on music and not a skin color, or even the steps of your past brothers. Stay to yourself, quiet, humble, kept, but also on target. Like the one that's put on your back as soon as you place product on the market. This for the natives who hate other races, not understanding that. Whenever they do that, it's the race races on everybody that's standing in front of them, man. For the ones who never made it. And I don't mean the big leagues. I mean the ones who froze in the woods trying to get back home to their mom and family. Thank you very much, everybody. We hope you enjoyed this set. Again, my name is Lisa Miswigan. I am a contemporary hand trump singer. And I'd like to say thank you very much to the Festival, the Voyageur, and to uh, all the organizers and the staff who made this all possible, all the funders, the sponsors, all the organizers, everybody who made this all possible, that we couldn't have made this happen without you all. So we'd like to say thank you, and thank you for having me. Um, and I'm excited to have you here in my living room. Thank you. Now you're tuning in to the Festival of Voyager. I'm doing a report right here from the bushes in of northern Manitoba. Yes, I'm dressed pretty cool, but you're not supposed to dress like that when you're over here. You gotta dress warm. I have snow shoes. Just beautiful out here. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. When I pay, look what you're missing. That's a super, super forest out here. So you take care of the land. You know, with, uh, with everything happening, where are you gonna run to? Your mate, the ancestors, they came to the bushes. Look at that. So you take care of the land. The land will take care of you. So that's the way you do it. Respect the land, and they'll respect you too. They'll give you rabbits, chickens, all this. You don't have to go to Safeway or Walmart. My hat is kind of going crazy. But anyway, that's what happens when they come out dressed like this. You're a little crazy. Hey, what's that? Alewata, oh, wrong way. Alewata, Shaki, Alewata. Here we go. Eh? The fact about the Voyager 2021. I'm gonna go forward, watch it. Never seen a tactic puppet, eh? Watch this, holy smokes. One leg, watch it. 
Other side. Uh-huh. Other side. Oh, I did do the rest of the split. They call me the chief, see? I got my head dressed. So anyway, it's a long time ago, they used to use the snowsuits like this, but these are small ones, they're so small, look at that. So anyway, that's what they used to wear, being a deep snow, just like this, here. it's a lot of snow, deep snow. So anyway, call me the chief. It's pretty hot, uh, pretty hot out here, see what I my, my buckskin jacket, look at that. And I got my uh, wraparound shoes, look at that. Ooh. So that's what I use, my wraparound suit. Can use boots out here in the deep snow. So anyway, I want to say hello. Boozoo to everybody. Dante, how are you? So anyway, long time ago, they used to come to the forest like this. Look at that. Hello! So deep in the forest. Hello! I couldn't say. Hello, Festival des Voyageurs. I'm Chelsea June. And I'm Yai. Thank you so much for inviting us to be a part of your virtual event. We are so excited to be back again this year, and hopefully we'll be in person again in the future. Come with us, and we'll take you on a musical journey. We hope you enjoy the show. Human is a song that Yayi and I are both incredibly proud of. We were asked to write this song for UNESCO to celebrate 2019's International Year of Indigenous Languages. Human has gone on to reach number one on the Indigenous Music Countdown, and it was also chosen for CBC's Music Class Challenge, where students from across the country competed and learned how to sing our song in three languages, English, Inuktitut, and French. You know, preserving our Indigenous languages is so important here in this country, but not only this country, but all over the world. And so, this is Human. <laughs> Pitu hak chuami, si buli pa vnu, atuk talau tu mi, ti gu me kunga, kai si ne kaga, angayu kaka no do kaya lama. I have a language that was born with time, passed on through generations, one of a kind. Keep it close to me, close to my heart, share for all to hear. I'll do my part. I am proud, I am proud of who I am. I am human, I am people, I am human, I am people. So I am human. 
others say. We were given our languages from the animals, from the trees, yet we cut them down. Many things have been taken from our people, yet we are still here. Our languages are not lost, but simply resting, waiting to be reawakened. so much. Battlefield is a song that we wrote to raise awareness for mental health. You know, many people suffer in silence and feel like they can't talk about it with anybody. And so in this song, we really talk about how we have battlefields in our own minds, but also how we're kind of all in this together. And Battlefields is the first single off our brand new album, Omen. This life full of deception Which reflection is true In search of the answers What's wrong and what's right
አን እንደና ማገኔ ዶክ እንደና መኮን ንሻስተ ገኔ ወንደኮ አምበገ ማቋንዶ ወደ Hello my friends and relatives my english name is Clarence Nipenak and uh, for those of you that are visiting in our territory you are more than welcome to be here in Treaty 1 territory the traditional territory of the Cree the Ojibwe the Dene the Inuit homeland of the Métis and of course uh, all the newcomers the settlers thank you my name is Barbara Nipenak my traditional name is Tutandre Bravan Nijobinesi Kwendigo Makwando de we are honored to be here today to be part of the festival celebrations and we have been here a long time to celebrate together with the community and I remember 20 years ago, 25 years ago, being here as performers, because I have a performing group as well, being here and we have to dance on the ice and the snow. And those were our humble beginnings with Festival, building that relationship. But it's very encouraging the last 10 years that there has been a lot of inclusiveness. You know, uh, we have diversity and uh, we have, we're dancing on better conditions. And uh, there was a time when we had to bring our own lunches so this has come a long way and I really like to acknowledge Festival de Voyager staff and organizations that support it. We embrace you. So we're over here in the Festival de Voyager. How are you? I'm far away over here in the bushes. Far away. Hello! So I know how to move around in the bushes over here. I fell in the snow, deep snow over here. Oh, it looks like I know how to walk. You know how to walk over here? Maybe I should put on some moccasins and my wraparounds. Look at that. These are my uh, snowshoes. That's what you need to walk around in a, in a deep snow hole. So I think I, I, better, I better make it back. I'll see you later. Okay, enjoy the festivities at the Festival of Voyager. Alouette, lucky alouette. Alouette, lucky alouette. Allô et bienvenue au Festival de Voyageurs Virtuel 2021. Alors, c'est un événement spécial. Moi, c'est Alexandre Tétro et je suis ici avec Nicolas Nico Dubois. Dubois. Alors, euh, on va vous jouer de la bonne musique traditionnelle aujourd'hui. Uh, some good old Métis tunes. Oh, yeah. So, uh, let's get fiddling. Alors, j'espère que vous avez bien aimé cette pièce. Uh, C'est une pièce originale. So this is one of my original ones, and it's actually featured on uh, my album Barn Dance. But uh, yeah, it's called Hey Ho Polka. Puis uh, je l'ai écrit, ben, comme vous pouvez deviner, pour le Festival du Voyageur. So I had to play it today. Yeah, well, you had to. I mean, come on, it's festival. Hey, hey ho. ho all the way.
So we've known each other since kindergarten. We went to the same school, La Gimadière in Lorette. And uh, yeah, you've been playing violin since you were like three, four three years old. Yeah. And then I just kind of tagged along, invited myself after a while onto the journey. And then our first gig playing Festival, we were how old do you think? Like nine I'd or something? I'd say yeah, nine, yeah, ten. Nine. We played first thing in the morning, six o'clock for CD CTV News. And then uh, we were playing every 45 minutes or every 30 minutes for a 45 minute set. And we'd nap in between and we were tired, man. And It was fun times. Oh, yeah, it was fun, fun times. times. Fun times for sure. And we never stopped though. So we're still here today and, you yeah. know, playing this old time music, even though we're little youngsters, I guess some people <laughs> call us. But yeah, so here's this next one for you guys. It's a medley of swings. All right, so I have a funny story for this next one that we're going to play. It's, uh, it's called Broken Fiddle Polka. C'est une de mes pièces originales, so it's an original piece. But what's funny is I wrote it right after we did our recordings for my CD. So it's yeah. not on my CD. But I can tell you my fiddle was destroyed after the recording. So my fiddle's all broken, right? And I'm like, well, I don't want to you know, pay for another. I just paid for the studio time. I don't want to pay for another fiddle. So I said... Screw it, we're going to play with my broken fiddle. And then I oh, made yeah. this song and I was like, hmm, what should I call it? Yeah. Broken fiddle polka. Made so it work and we're creative with our song names. So. Yeah, so <laughs> this is broken fiddle polka.
we just want to thank everyone at home for watching us and supporting us through this tough time. Uh, we also want to thank Festival for letting us have this opportunity. This is awesome. It's incredible what you guys are doing. So. Alors, euh, on apprécie ça, puis euh, j'espère que vous avez aimé notre set. On a essayé de notre mieux avec euh, les, les circonstances de COVID et tout ça, mais euh, on espère qu'il y a un festival l'année prochaine. On voulait juste vous dire merci. Moi, c'est Alexandre Tétro. Nicolas Dubois. Et puis, euh, c'était un plaisir d'être avec vous autres aujourd'hui. Passez une belle soirée. Hey ho! Hey ho! This poem is called Voyageurs. They were young burly men from the eastern shore who knew from life they wanted more. Their plots were dry, their stories just beginning. They set off to love a life, a life worth living. They were engaged in a plan by the Northwest Sea to traverse the land through the veins of streams. Who could they be? Who could they become? The voyageurs, they set out as one. To leave a home and to start anew was not as easy for each crew. A plan was made by just a few, and these men, each other, they barely knew. They left behind a wholesome life, with some their families and some their wives. At what cost could this journey be? It was a true sacrifice, a testament to thee. You see, money was the draw until the first moon, and they realized this just all too soon. The dollars didn't matter to the trees or folks. It didn't matter to the water, to the paddles, each stroke. The vie to be the manliest man who could traverse the farthest across this land, who could stand the strongest against each demand, but together they knew they could not disband. They all met at the forks of Montreal. A party arrived to farewell them all. They knew they had no wherewithal. Their families depended on their westward sprawl. The concept was simple, the company set. They demanded their lives and their respect. An old life in passing so soon to forget all attention was needed for this next trek. The water highways were tumultuous. Their demeanors were calm. They responded to the water with a range of songs. The rhythm set pace to the paddles each dawn. This they knew as the paddle songs. Huzzah, huzzah, on the river you could hardly hear me. Huzzah, huzzah, on the river you don't hear me at all. Huzzah, huzzah, on the river you could hardly hear me. Huzzah, huzzah, on the river, you don't hear me at all. The 
the fast pace led them through the scariest moments that took their fear away. It took their attention and all of their logic. They knew they'd have to play. The waves were fierce, the rapid surprise. This they knew as portage in time. They would haul the cargo on each of their backs. Three packs of 90 pounds to be more exact. The strongest, of course, would carry much more. And this was to their own accord. They gained more capital and they would become more esteemed. And the bourgeois took notice as part of their scheme. Roles were defined, the company set. They were determined to be noticed by the records they set. They went from pork eaters to Northmen to the real Athabascans. In a season, can you believe that? Who inspired these actions? Pork eaters went just as far as the interior. Their goal was to work, not to be more superior. They traded with tribes for furs and tools because a market in Europe awaited these fools. Fur was in fashion, the business of vanity. Nonetheless, they could go home to be with their families. The Northmen went further. They learned to live off the land, becoming allies with tribes and facing nature's demands. They developed a system called the trading posts. Some fell in love, no longer wanted to go. The ones who traveled on, they gained the most masculine prowess. They became ingrained in the journey. They became the most proudest. The final stage was to find a Nehia wife, to learn to live off the land like she did for life. You see, these stories are as webbed as these Canadian streams, how we became a nation who are the Métis. Hi, everyone. My name is Zoe Roy. Cree Dene Métis, a member of Peter Ballantyne Cree Nation based in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. It's a pleasure to be here at the Voyagers Festival with all of you. The next poem I'm going to perform for you is called The Boy Who Noticed. He was born in a place not known to most. Some walked by and shrugged their shoulders, you see. The world we don't understand offers no immediate grasp. It's easy for us. We just shrug our shoulders and smile back if they smile first. But we don't smile first. We just walk past with our heads high as if we don't notice, hoping they don't notice. And wait until you feel like a jerk 10 steps later because you know you noticed. Now imagine a child and maybe one who noticed. This particular child was born to someone who forgot she once had dreams. She was no longer exploring, a wonderment's lost. There was nothing curious to her, so she'd stay lost in her thoughts. The world's proven twice over, maybe a little more. People will lie while grazing the tips of your lips, so there's nothing she'd fall for. A syringe and a strap just won't talk back, sure. Sometimes she collapsed. Maybe there's one thing she fell for. He was nursed by the neighbors, held by their children. He was raised by the world, but it felt like hell that he lived in. How can they be forgiven if he hasn't been taught how to live yet? Now this little boy joins the system where he's expected to give in, and he feels like he's doing everything wrong, everyone wrong. Teachers remind him he's going to have a hard time if he wants to move on. If he wants to move on. Move on to what? He's been shown his whole life that people don't give up. It'd be no surprise when he's given up. But he still tried to do things for people. You know, he tried to go the mile. He thought it felt nice to give, and he liked making people smile. So he did this for a while until he knew it never mattered. He became inspired by a world that made him feel flattered. He could disappear into the depths of his block and he thought his older cousins were cool. 
They all rocked the same colors and he wanted that too. He threw his rag on at 11 and took the title of a runner. He saw a place where he can grow in and where he felt like a stunner. He saw people begin to notice, so he became devoted. At night he was thugging, but during the day he'd hit the books. He wanted to make the money cause he liked the way it looked. But he was tired of his brothers dying and the look in his sister's eyes. He heard one person say one time that with these choices come this life. He still wasn't taught how to live yet. So he put the pieces together. White people have the houses and it's been like this forever. He felt jaded and mad and started breaking in their places. You know, the people who he painted as the ones who tried to erase us. The ones who took our land and then tried to replace us. But every time he get caught, he ended up back in jail. And the flatter of the streets began to grow stale. The place he chose to win in is the very place he seemed to fail. His brothers no longer wrote him, and his spirits felt broken. He knew he was living a life where he had no more control in. And the mirror he looked in never lied. He hasn't really survived. But here he is, and at least he is here alive. This boy is now a man with a rap sheet longer than his life. He became bitter by the block, but the block's his paradigm. He was released with one more shot. So he took himself to school. He fell in love with a lady who knew the block well too, and they both had a lot to lose. He said he did it for his baby. He said he did it for his girl. He said he did it for the people who felt like they have no place in this world. And he wanted success. And success was in his reach. He wanted to make peace with his old gangsta beliefs. And on the front, he was making it. But it was more than he could cope with. He went to a party for a single beer, and after three, he'd lose focus. He forgot where all his hope went. All his anger began to surface. He forgot about his baby, his girl, the ones at home who noticed. He forgot about how he told himself that after one that he could stop. He remembered all the hurt and all the pain from that block. And the only person in front of him is the only person he could blame. Old habits die hard even though the person wants to change. He took a knife out from his pocket and shanked his brother for a comment. He heard the voices yell, but he couldn't make out stop it. And in the paper, we'd all notice. And we judge him for his wrongs. And we talk about him in our houses, in our boardrooms, in our poems. But even a man's hands can only hold so much. So maybe next time we'll notice before we blame him for giving up. It's been really lovely to perform for you at the Voyagers Festival this year. There are 40 artists on the lineup, so make sure you get some of them in. My name is Zoe Priceless Roy. This last poem is called In Stillness. In stillness, my wings expand without my permission. They hold this pen, rise me up, bring forth my vision. Steering my will with the truest vibrations I hold. This is not passive of me. I am not in the backseat of a cavalry fleeing reality or the illustrious illusions of my psyche. To be honest, my imagination has taken my conscience to be free from the grips of my sapience, relieved from my own self-hatred. I can see that this fleet is more excited about the sights it will see. The pursuit being more about checking out the gallery, synthesizing stories through memory, collecting the best places to pick the best berries. This bird's eye view tells me with honesty 
shows me the obstructions, exposes the constellations of my nebulous without judgment. It's just a plain old curiosity of the rawness that is held captive in the shadow of my humanity. I remember the busyness of my society, the hard glares, the soft stares. I dwelled in this anxiety, like a narcissist demanding peace is their only remedy. I was grasping at the abstracts from the fastest streams and judging them for being in a hurry, for being too fast for me. I found this place where the mountain opens up just a sliver, exposing the sun rays in the same spot at the same time each day. A blissful place where the water cascades gently down the mountain's face. These are happy tears. A whirlpool basks at the mountain's base, wrapped in old rocks who have been there for a long time. They've lost their edge, I can tell. This place is inviting. I sit at the top of the whirlpool in the freshest tears. My wings drop, my chest is drawn back, my hips open up. I can feel the jaggedness from their resentments acquiescently obey the oppression of gravity and become coddled by their grandparents. I can feel cognition leave me, mindfully. Tears drip down my cheeks. I rock back and forth to the rhythm of my poetry, gently splashing soliloquies to all that can absorb me. This is my generosity in its most honest form. I cannot tell where my skin ends and this water begins anymore. Warm gold hues emerge up my spine. Each vertebrae the perfect shape to be placed on the mountain's face that opens up and shows the sun rays in the same spot at the same time each day. I become lighter, translucent. I can see the reflections of the earth all around me on my body. I can see my body reflected on the earth all around me. I do not know where the light ends and I begin anymore. Moss has traced the entire span of my wings and they have become the longest shore. A place that people look forward to. A place of promise where the ocean tides always return to. I have no desire to take flight. No need to leave, to be exposed to the mysteries that gave me this life. I can rest in stillness. With each breath, I sink deeper into the earth's floor. I cannot tell where this mountain ends and I begin anymore. I am one with the forest. I know where to go. I know where to go, holy smokes. Go this way, that way, I never get lost. No, not that festival of orange. Look at my, look at my, look at that. That's for my friend Tiki. Ah, that's kidding, that's kidding. I'll go this way. Go! Get fast Wi Fi throughout your home with Bell MTS Wi Fi Pods. Hello, boys and girls. Uh, thanks there. Uh, uh, for you. I'm over here out in the forest. There's a nice fire going out here, going out to the Festival of Voyager. Boo-hoo. So I'm over here. They were heating up some rocks. They call them a sweat sand. It's called a sweat. You heat up the rocks. And then you go for a sweat. That's like, not like a sauna, but something like a sauna. But it's, uh, it's uh, how we do it over here in Matut sand. So it's, uh, it's a sweat you heat up the grandfather's. We call them the grandfathers. Nice. Beautiful out here. Beautiful. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Sasha. I, 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 uh, I'm getting my spirit name. But I think it's going to be uh, something about a bear. I'm not sure. 
Santa que era más cua. Sí, dice Spirit. That's my spirit name, Mashkwa. I sleep all day, just like young people, they sleep all day. And then they wake up and they say, hey, what happened to the summer? Do you I sleep during the night and get up during the day? Don't try and sleep all day, do you what? That's me, Mashkwa. Huh? It's my spirit name. So proud. Hello everybody, my name is Tia Wood and I come to you from the Satellite Cree Nation of Treaty 6 Territory over in Alberta, Canada. I am from the Plains Cree and Salish tribes and um, I'm a singer, I'm a dancer, I'm a songwriter and you may or may not have seen me on TikTok. I do a lot of uh, content on there. I post a lot of my singing and my dancing as well as some educational videos. And I just wanted to start off by saying thank you to the committee and those who made today possible for allowing me to come share some words and some songs with you guys today. I'm truly honored and I'm so excited to take part. This first song I'm going to sing is a song that was composed by my father Earl Wood and um, this is one of my favorite songs to sing. It always reminds me of home and um, the words are translated to once again we give thanks to the creator as we come dancing in and I thought that was such a beautiful song to start off with because given the circumstances we haven't been able to dance with each other physically and we haven't been able to celebrate with each other physically so I pray that we do so once again and we will so yeah with that I hope you guys enjoy the song <laughs> ever since I could talk and um, it was kind of inevitable for me and my sisters to pick it up because we were around such a musical family you know Randy Wood, Northern Cree and my, my parents were both singers as well my mom was actually in an all-girls drum group and um, but I always remember the first song that they taught me how to sing the first round that song and it was a song that's composed by my uncle Randy it's called Look How the Stars Shine For You. And the song holds such a special place in my heart. And I hope you guys enjoy it. <clears throat> <All right. clears throat> yeah! Hey. 
favorites and I know I say that about a lot of them but all of my all of the songs that my dad composes always makes me feel closer to home when I'm feeling a little far from it because you know as I said I now reside in BC and it's been kind of tough being away from them but this song is called uh, Grandfather Rock and I hope you guys enjoy it. <clears throat> my dude, is a song that was composed by my father yet again and um, this is kind of like a celebratory song it's a feel-good song you know whenever I'm feeling down and out and blue I always listen to the song and it never ever fails to make me feel better so if you're going through something or feeling a certain way I hope this song brings comfort to you <clears throat>
thank you guys for having me i enjoyed myself so very much and i was so excited and very honored to do this and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of the other artists it is such an amazing lineup and i can't wait to watch the rest peace oh, i tripped all the smoke i tripped in the snow so anyway i'm serious i know how to go around in a forest just uh let's see which way do i go which way is Winnipeg? Let's see. Let's see. You know how I know where it's Winnipeg? See the trees? The, the trees, the uh, more wind will come from the north side, so south is this way. So I'll go that way.
Very nice. Okay. Hello, I'm Kaylee Cardinal. We are the Kaylee Cardinal Band, I guess is what I'll call us. Um, so happy to be here playing some songs for you today. Um, this next one we're going to do is called The Devil is a Blue-Eyed Man. And I'm going to hold my guitar but not actually play it the entire time. It's magic. Um, okay. Turn this down, though. Ready? Well, you know that you had me from the first drink when the wine made my cheeks flush crimson pink. And your come smile. So when I was persuaded, we had something more rare and more extraordinary than simple exclusivity. I started to feel it, and to know it, and see. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that song. Um, this next song we're going to do is, um, it's a song about heartbreak, and it's a very, very specific song, and it's called Do You Know? And do you know, do you know about me? Does anybody? Am I just a side note in the 
this chapter of someone else's story. He's sneaking off again. He's lying through his teeth. And what makes you Trade guitars here with Braden Treble. This is Braden Treble. Do you want this too? Okay, I'll give you that. Um, yeah, so those, all of those songs that we played so far are from my album Stories from a Downtown Apartment, which uh, was released in 2019. And um, we are working on music for the next album right now. And this song that we're going to play for you is a sneak peek um, into what's coming in the future. This is a song called you make it look easy.
We're going to do one more, one more song for you. And um, this is a song that I released back in uh, 2017 um, on my first full-length album, Everything and Nothing at All. And we're actually going to be um, doing kind of a different version of the song today. This is called There Ain't No Waiting for Brayden. <laughs> there you go. This is called There Ain't No Way. Well, I got some habits, good habits that I ain't quit, and I got some awful, dirty, nasty, evil tricks. Got layers and layers of scars Got a lot of junk to get through To get to this jaded old heart But you blew in like a warm breeze in the spring You shake off the dust, bring the green back to I got poisons, oh, so many poisons to ease my mind. And I'll drift away even when you're holding me tight. Oh, I, I got a lot of repairing left to do to make everything all right. There ain't no way I'm gonna let you go.
Yeah, I'm Kaylee Cardinal. Thank you so much for having us. We'll see you hopefully in person next year. Thank you.